I'm Saud and by the end of this video you shall understand how FCFS works. In process scheduling we basically determine which process should run at a particular point of time if you have multiple processes. Let us assume that we have uh, four processes P1, P2, P3 and P4. Next we'll write the uh, arrival times. Arrival time is when the process first arrived. Let's assume that it's 0 for P1, it's 1 for P2, 2 for P3 and 3 for P4. The next thing we need is the burst time. Burst time is the amount of time required by a process to complete execution. Let's assume that it is 4 for P1, 3 for P2, 2 for P3 and 3 for P4. We are assuming that our processor is capable of running just a single process at a time. So only one process will be allocated the CPU's time at, uh, at any instant. So if you look at our uh, scheduling diagram, process P1 arrived at time 0, process P2 arrived at time 1, P3 arrived at time 2, and P4 arrived at time 3. Now in FCFS, the process that comes first shall be served first. So P1 will completely execute and it requires a burst time of 4. So we'll execute till, uh, till this point of time. That's 1, 2, 3 and 4. And at this stage P1 completes its execution. P2 was the next to arrive. It arrived at time 1 but it will have to wait till P1 completes its execution. So this is where P2 will start and it will go till uh, 3 burst times. It will be till 3 units of time. 1, 2 and 3. And at this instant P2 will complete its execution. The next to arrive was P3. So P3 will start at this point and it will go up till uh, 2 units of time. Over here P3 will complete its execution and P4 will start because it is the next to arrive after P3. And P3 P4 shall go up till uh, 3 units of time. I need one more, uh, one more line to indicate uh, time 12. That will indicate the beginning of time 12. So this is and this is where P4 will complete its execution. Now we'll look at the uh, waiting times. P1 did not have to wait at all. It uh, started executing the minute it arrived. P2 had to wait for uh, 3 units of time. 1, 2 and 3. P3 had to wait from uh, this point till this point. That is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. P3 had to wait for 5 units of time. P2 had to wait for 3 units. P1 did not have to wait at all and P4 had to wait from this point till this point that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 so P4 had to wait for 6 units of time in FCFS two things have to be taken care of first is that before a process starts executing it should have arrived before that and the next, and the next thing is that the process that came before that process should have completed its execution this was process scheduling using FCFS thank you very much for listening